Heinz Ward. Okay, there it is. Kicker, Gary mm-hmm. Anderson. Shout out, we need a specialist on a day like today. Tight end, Heath Miller. I thought you were going to say Deke. You know how you are with your tight ends. Nose tackle, mm-hmm. Casey Hampton. Ooh, I like Big Ham. Linebacker, Hardy Nickerson. Senior. Put some respect is on it the senior? Yeah, you see. Because you know you got you to differentiate sometimes. So I've never heard of him, but I've heard of the other four guys. Yeah. Three of the four I grew up with, Hans Ward, Heath Miller, and Casey Hampton. And then, obviously, Gary Anderson has his jersey pseudo-retired by us. No one has worn one since him. I like how you said that, pseudo-retired. Yes, that, that is very – that's a nice way to put that thing. At some point, someone's going to wear number one because we got Ben Seven. That's definitely going to be retired. No one's rocking that. Well, it's technically right now, how many numbers are retired? I think it's just one. No, two. We have how many that are pseudo-retired as correct, well. Correct, correct. But I just feel yeah. like one's gonna be off the board probably before some of the other ones, like Jack Lambert, fifty-eight. Mm-hmm. What else? I mean, we should, we could run through AB right away though. Rico. <laughs> well, Lynn Swan's eighty-eight's been worn. I'll say I'm like, whew. if those guys get their jerseys worn right away, ah. Yeah. Well, like, Ben AB was literally three years later. Yeah. Yeah. I guess Ben was seven, though. That takes the single digits out of it. You know what I mean? If they want to keep the single digits particular mm-hmm. to kickers and punters, because I don't think they switched that rule gotcha. for them. Yeah. So that's just another number off of it. I could see yeah. one getting worn at some point. Maybe he makes the Hall of Fame, though. I don't hey, know. if he makes the I don't Hall, know does that people... change, though? If he makes the Hall, do you not give his number out now? I don't know. How we people... don't have enough numbers to not be giving out numbers. I man. don't know how people <laughs> felt about him. For his number to be pseudo retired, I'm actually kind of surprised being hmm. like a kicker. But you look back, he was on the Steelers for a ton of years yeah. and he was he a pretty was a damn pretty, good he was, kicker. He was a pretty good kicker. He man. was on the all decades yeah. team in the 80s and the 90s. I was trying to figure out why he's not in yet mm. because Morton Anderson got in. There's not too yeah. many kickers. There was the Chiefs kicker from way back. He was in like Super Bowl one. Mm-hmm. His stats are garbage, but just different eras. Gotcha. I guess he was probably yeah. the best kicker at the time. Maybe he was a trailblazer or something. And I think. The other kickers that are in are like half kickers, punters, but they also played positions like, mm-hmm. you know, back in the 50s, yes. they were doing yeah. that type of stuff. But then Vinatieri is going to get in for sure. I feel like Vinatieri, Vanderjack, and Janikowski, those are like the three guarantees from, is this technically, I guess this would be, they consider modern era because with Gary, like he's like fringe modern era. Is he still considered modern era? How would you, like, he went up to, he went up to like 04, 05. Anderson got in recently, though. They were yeah. pretty much the same era. Morton Anderson went a little bit further, though, in right. his career. He had a few more seasons. I think he went up to like 07, 08. Yeah. But they both played 20 plus long years. Long time. Long time. <laughs> the one thing that I found, let me rattle off some numbers because I was actually really interested in this yeah. because I knew that Gary Anderson was highly touted by Steeler fans mm-hmm. or probably just the Steelers in general for having his jersey kind of retired. So I looked. I'm like, why isn't he in the Hall of Fame already? Why is he in the nomination right now? Compared to Morton Anderson, mm-hmm. they both have the all all decades team for the 1980s, the 1990s. Yeah. Gary Anderson has 538 field goals made. Morton Anderson has 565. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Gary Anderson played two less seasons than Morton. There we go. Has a higher percentage. Okay. Oh. So it's he only like has... Hold on now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So 80.1%, whereas Morton Anderson has 79.7%. Mm-hmm. Gary has four Pro Bowls. Morton has seven. Morton has three All-Pros. Gary has one. Okay. Who has more hardware? Super Bowls? Neither of them have Super Bowls. Okay. Neither of them have Super Bowls. And that actually benefits him too, then. Based off those numbers... He should be in. He should get he should serious in. consideration yes. if Morton Anderson's yeah. already in. But now, it is hard for specialists, though, I feel like, to get in. Yeah, no, that's why like there's only two right now. It's hard for them to get in, man. Vinatieri's for sure going to get yeah. in, though. He's not eligible till like 2025. Mm-hmm. So I even threw his numbers in there. He has 599 field goals made. Gary Anderson has 538. Yeah. Vinatieri played 24 seasons. He has a th- uh, 83% mm-hmm. on the kicking made, whereas Gary Anderson has 80%. Three Pro Bowls, three All Pros, but then right, he has those Super Bowl champions. Though, yeah. So, yeah, so like mm-hmm. those parts. Yeah, you're right. They are pretty yeah. comparable. Vinatieri obviously has the Super Bowls, the playoff accolades and stuff. Here's here's the big thing, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So even though Gary's probably a little bit less than even both Morton and Adam in those statistical categories, yeah. it's 
pretty damn close. Absolutely. It's pretty damn close. He should get serious consideration from 50 plus. He has small deke energy. Only 12 field goals made from 50 oh, plus in his career. No. Warren Anderson <laughs> has, has 40 no. from 50 plus. Adam Vinatieri <laughs> has 45 from 50 oh, plus. He came up a little short, huh? Justin oh, Tucker no. already has 42 made from 50 plus. Oh, no. And that's only out of 60 attempts. He's 70% oh from 50 plus in his career. Yo, he is money from, from downtown. I think that's what's hurting Gary that, Anderson. That hurts. When you say that part of it, everything else, I'm like, it's a no-brainer. You started talking on fitties. And I guess for kickers, though, when you're starting to talk Hall of Famers, we say with Hines, right? People always say, it was the Hall of Good versus the Hall of Fame. If you're not hitting from 50-plus at a high clip, does that treat you Hall of Good or is that Hall of Fame? They, they bring up a good point. Bring up a good point. But, man, why'd you have to do that research like that, Deke? I was really interested God, because... Dog, man, you had everything was good. You should have just... You should have stopped before you got to that last that's one, That's what I was like. What, hey, is, on, man. what is the differing factor between yeah. him not being in and Morton Anderson being in? And then, obviously, Adam Adam is going to be in. Justin Tucker's going to be in whenever his career is over. True, I was looking true. at his numbers. Like they're, He's, they're, he's they're already crazy, a lock, man. to be honest with you. Yeah. Like, four Pro Bowls, four All Pros. He's, yeah. he's a lock already. And then that 50-plus yard stat that I just threw out to you. Yeah, because I do think that is a little bit of a separating factor you know when we're talking about kickers because it's not like they have other stats they can go off of when we talk about receivers right when we say with Hans, even though, okay he doesn't have the the gaudiest of numbers right when you compare him to some of these other guys we talk about the intangibles the blocking yeah. the rule changes those things we super can go bowl to. mvp right two-time super bowl champ with gary that's the part where i'm like as a kicker if he maybe won you see what i mean like yeah, bowl, it's just like what what that would have helped go to to combat that and that yeah that's a little bit of an issue right i now. hope he gets in i, do too, I was man. just trying to figure out why he's not in up to this yeah. point to me i think that that sounds that's got to be it what's yeah. the chat saying because maybe some of them right are now more familiar man, with um, gary anderson yeah i'm trying to i'm just see. going straight off stats right there just looking how did they feel about him when so he like, was on the team thomas riley said gary anderson was a great kicker um like i consider jeff about, Reed a great you, kicker too one in off the field, baby. He he gives me the energy I need. I like him, man. Uh, but is it enough for the And now fans? DeMond says Gary is really more associated with the Falcons than he is with the Steelers. I know for me. Really? Is that true? That, 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 that's what some people are saying. That's what he said. Some people are saying that. You tell me. Wait, why is his what, number what, like what, what halfway picture, retired? What picture pulls up first? Go to images. Just see what, he, what, what uniform he's in. Uh, I think I typed in the wrong guy. I think Bro, this is a bowler. Who the heck, did you pull up? Boy, that ain't no Gary. <laughs> I'll type in Gary Anderson <laughs> NFL. <laughs> He's a Vikings. His best season was on the Vikings. Yeah, he was old. His one season with the Vikings was insane. There's a Vikings. Dang. There's a Falcons, and there's a Steelers. Where was he with the, the Falcons? Top three. Was, he wasn't Falcons with Jamal Anderson, was he? Let me see. That, I, I'm trying there's, to make sure because I feel like that. He played the majority of his career with the Steelers. Yes, though. that's why I'm I'm really curious about that. Why he's viewed more as because I wonder if he had that year with the Vikings with Jamal Anderson was it just because of like all the fanfare and hype surrounding it. Then was that why? Oh, you meant Vikings, not Falcons. Correct. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was gonna I, say I keep saying Falcons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Morton Anderson Vikings. played Falcons. Yes, I, yeah. I keep saying Fal I mean Vikings. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Vikings back with Rod Smith. Um, Jesus. Oh. Uh, Moss and them dudes. Yeah, so he was yeah. on the Vikings from 98 mm -hmm. to 2002. Yeah. And he easily had his best season in 98 when he yeah. was 39 years old. He that had 100% of game. his field yes. goals. Mm -hmm. He made an all-pro. He made a Pro Bowl. He made three Pro Bowls with the Steelers, played with them from when he was 23 all the way up till he was 35, and then just bounced around a little bit, a couple seasons with the Eagles, mm -hmm. one with the 49ers, stuck with the Vikings for about four or five years, and then finished with Tennessee last two. Yeah. He had some of his good years with the Vikings. I could, yeah. I could kind of see that. I just that. think to me, because ninety eight, that's that Moss time frame when they were, you know, uh, it wasn't, it was a, oh my goodness, Randall Cunningham as well. Like they were, I just remember them a lot, just being talked about a lot. That was an iconic yeah, era. For the Vikings. and I just feel like I could see people easily just associating him with them because of that time frame. Okay, yeah. But man, what do they think in terms of? 
and being a great kicker is that enough to be Hall of Fame? That's because what, yeah. that's what I'm saying to you, Jeff Reed. I trusted him in the clutch. He was part of those two Super Bowl mm-hmm. championship teams. He had big kicks and yeah. big moments. I think he's a great kicker, Hall of Fame. Like he never made a Pro Bowl or anything. And especially what? with how hard it is for these kickers to be Correct. getting in the Hall of Fame, I'd like to see him in just because he's been on the Steelers for at least a decade. It was like wow. twelve or thirteen years, right there. It'd be cool. I do kind of feel like of the list of names, Gary probably has the best chance. But at the same time, I feel like his chance is still super hard because he doesn't have the other arguments that Hines can make. Yeah. Like, I feel like Hines has a good opportunity, but the timing is about to kill him because we know the next wave of these younger guys with these crazier numbers are going to start coming out. And that is going to keep that log jam at receiver going. But with Gary, it's just the fact that as a specialist, it's very, very difficult to get in that thing, man. It's interesting, though, man. 